how cool is that? We've got our own little intro now. Getting bigger and better and going further and wider to more people. So, hey everyone, it's Nick Revolt here and this is... James. Say hi. Hi. Hey everyone, it's Saturday morning, which means another session of NAB AFL Kick at home. We hope you've all had a great week and you're all safe. Let's get into NAB AFL Kick at home. Let's start like we always do, with a warm up. Jogging on the spot. Jogging on the spot. Jogging on the spot. Okay, what about some squats? Bend your knees. Bend your knees. Good. Oh, let's do three push-ups. One, two, three. Good. Now we're going to do fast running on the spot, and we're going to count to ten at the same time. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good work, good work. That's a good start. Around the world, perfect. Ball handling around the world. Good job. Who did we say was really good at this last week? Can you remember? Vontempelli. Vontempelli. Okay. Ball slaps. Get the feel of the ball in our hands. Boy, Will. Will's joined us. Got a ring in. We're going to be big on the little cameos, I think. Just in and out. All right. Now, we're going to do footy ninja just to make sure we're nice and warmed up. So, let's start. Put it up in the air. And balance on one leg. One leg. Balance on one leg. Balance on one leg. Now, the other leg, other hand. Other leg, other hand. Good job. And now, kick. 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 Now, hopping on one leg. Hopping on one leg. Hopping wheel. Hop. Oh, in circles. I like it. Hopping in circles. Can you do the other leg? Yep. Try the other leg. Hopping, hopping, hopping. Can you do it, Will? Good job. Okay. Now jump forward and jump back. Come back over here. Jump forward and jump back. Jump forward and jump back. Jump forward and jump back. Okay. Ball in the air. Ball touch the ground. Air. Ground. Air. Right up in the air. Stretch it up. On the ground. Stretch it up. On the ground. All right. We warmed up. I'm puffing. Okay, now let's work on our handballs. We practiced those a lot last week. So, flat. Like that. this, someone outside, no throwing, just hit it off your flat hand, like this. Really good. Flat hand, ball on your hand, make a fist with your thumb on the outside, and then hit it off. Perfect, that was really good. So, to make this one a little bit more interesting, we're gonna have a little obstacle course first, and then you can do the handball. So, I'm sure not many people at home have cones and stuff like that. So we're using drink bottles and you can use anything, anything you can find around the house. So zigzag in and out of the drink bottles and then do your handball. All right. So zigzag in and out, James, and then handball. In and out, in and out, in and out. Good job. Now back around to the start. Good job. Ready? Go. In and out, in and out, in and out. Nice. Oh. See if you can practice the other hand this time. Okay. Whichever hand you did good for. Yep. So in and out, in and out, in and out. Good. Back to the start. In and out, in and out, in and out. Oh, nice one. I'll do one. You want to catch it? Yep. Yep. In and out, in and out, in and out. Now you do it back to me. Yeah, you can do a long one if you want. Wow, that's it. That's a good idea. You can practice your short ones and you can practice your long ones. Because sometimes your teammate's going to be really close to you and you want to give it to them like that. And other times they're going to be further away from you. Like this. Yeah. I mean, so fast. Try not to throw it up and then hit it. Try to just get it out of your hand. Now let's do 10 really quick ones back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if you're at home and you don't have someone to handball with, 
You can do it against a tree, or you can do it against a wall. You can do it against anything with a flat surface. Remember to try and practice on both hands as well. So it's good practicing your handballing, and it's good practicing your catching the ball as well. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play a game of Ruckman's Treasure. So we've grabbed things from around the house. We've got some balls, any ball we could find, a golf ball, a tennis ball. We've even got a shoe, we've got a drink bottle, and we're gonna go back and start on our own base. And then the game is to run in, grab something, take it back to your base, and get back in and get something else. So if you're playing it by yourself, you can still do this, see how fast you can get all the things and then try and beat your time. So, ready, you go to your side. I'm gonna go to my side. Mummy, you're gonna say go. All right, ready, set, go. One at a time, you're only allowed one. I want that shoe. Let's get that golf ball. Oh. Okay, count them up. How many things have you got? Three, four, five. Oh, I've got one, two, three, four. Winner! Lucky I had an odd number. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Good job. All right, can we play again? Yay! All right, everything back in the middle. Okay, so we know one of the most important skills in all of footy is being able to kick the ball. That's why players like Lockie Whitfield from the Giants are so good, they never waste the disposals. So remember when we're kicking, we wanna hold the ball straight. We wanna try and drop it straight down onto our foot, point our toes, and kick straight at our target where we're trying to kick the ball. Oh, watch out, mummy. And kick backwards like this. Want it to spin backwards, yeah, no. like that, good job. Okay, so if you're with a partner, we wanna stand about five metres apart, and if you're by yourself, pick something out. So you might wanna pick out a tree, or a chair or something that you can try and pass the ball to. All right, ready, James? All right, Will's joined back in. I'm gonna drop puppy, Will, if you wanna catch the footy. Ready? Okay, James. Nice one. That was really straight and it spun nicely too. Straight drop. Point your toe. Good job. Straight drop. Oh, good hands. And if you can do marks, you can do a mark or chest mark, whichever catch you want to do. <laughs> That's right. Okay, we're going for 10 in a row here without the ball hitting the ground. One. Oh, two. Three. Oh. So if you're at home, try and do five in a row of hitting what you're trying to kick the ball to. Maybe the tree or... We're on three. We're on three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, last one, ten. ten. Good job. Woo! Remember the things we just spoke about? Try and keep the ball nice and straight. Straight and drop. You want to practice smothering. Ball straight, straight drop. Point your toe straight to your target. Okay, of course, if someone's kicking you the ball, you want to be able to mark it. So let's practice our mark. So face the other way, and when I say your name, I want you to turn around and I'm going to throw the ball to you. Okay, we'll practice our marks. Ready? James! Oh, you got to be ready for it. James! Good. James! Good one, Hamble. Push your Hamble. Ready? All right, ready? James! Oh, good hands. Ready? James. Nice one. one. One on your chest this time, a chest mark. Ready? James. Good job. All right, let's practice some speckies. All right, Ooh. run and jump. Will, you want to turn? Yeah. Okay. Your turn. Run and jump. Good one. Run and jump. Nice. Yep, Will's turn. Good boy. One more each. Will. Good job. Nice handball. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. Last one, James. Daddy, for the last one, can you do it? Very, very hard one. Right. Oh, he's held it. 
nice job. Okay, now we're going to do a little obstacle course. So we've each got our footy and we've put them over there. So we're going to use the footies to kick at the tree. That's the last thing where we're going to do. But we've got three stations. The first one, we're going to do five jumps over the water bottle. The second one, we're going to do running on the spot for 10 seconds at the next station. Then we're going to do five jumping jacks at the next station. Then we go to our footy and we try and kick it at the tree. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, ready? So we're going to jump over five times. Ready, set, go. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Next station. Running on the spot for 10 seconds. One, two, two three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, Eight, nine, ten. Jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five. Now, kick the footy at the tree. Oh, you can have that one too. Got it! Oh, good try. Okay, guys, getting ready for round two. That was really good. Remember, the most important part is when you get a chance to kick the footy and hit the target, whether it's a tree or a chair, you want to try and hit it. You ready? Go. One. Two, three, four, five, over here. Running on the spot, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's quick counting. <laughs> five. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Oh, oh, you got your brother, bonus point. Got the tree. Daddy missed. One all. All right, last round. Let's make this the best one yet. Ready, set, go. One, one two, three, four, five. Okay, this way. Drop for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And five jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five. Four, you gotta concentrate. Okay, straight drop, walking practice. Your turn. Good job, Will. Got it! Woo! Okay, we're gonna practice our Brody Grundy taps. Last week we practiced our Buddy Franklin goals. This week it's our Brody Grundy taps. So you can either throw the ball up to yourself and then practice hitting it on the ground, or you can throw it up to your partner and then they can practice tapping it back to you. Okay, so when the ball's in the air, you want to run and jump and tap it at your high, at the highest point you can down to your partner. Ah! You're going to tap to me. Whoa, watch out. Ready, James? Yep. Whoa, nice one. Yeah. Now just Martin. practice a little one with an Martin. open hand. Martin, Good job. Good job. Make sure you got to run and jump like a ruckman. Yeah. Show me how you're going to run and jump like a ruckman. There you go. Really good. Yeah. You're by yourself at home, you can practice like this. Get up and tap it, and then you can be the one that goes and picks it up. So you can be the ruckman and the rover. Right. Yeah, and look at this. Bang it on the ground, and then when it, and then when it bounces, you can just hold it. Great. All right, that was a great little session. Hope you've all enjoyed it. NAB AFL Auskick at home. We're gonna be coming to you guys every week. So make sure you tune in, have fun, and we're bringing Auskick to you. And happy Easter. I hope you're enjoying Auskick. Hope everyone had a really good time there. NAB AFL Auskick at home. Happy Easter, please stay safe, and we'll see you all again next week.